My name is Mark Williams and I work for Euroforest Limited. Uh, my job title is Head of Operations England and Wales. We are on a woodland site uh, with a road frontage in the south of England. Uh, the woodland site is managed by a company called Fountains Forestry. Uh, we're in the county of West Sussex and very near the famous estate of Goodwood. This uh, woodland here has uh, ash dieback on the road frontage. Ash dieback has become a national problem in the UK with an estimated 35 million tonnes of ash needing to be removed in the next six to eight years. Many of the ash is growing on the side of public highways or public footpaths or public bridleways, which gives the owners of the woodlands huge liability issues that need to be dealt with. So we're on a fairly short road frontage here, uh, maybe half a mile and over 200 ash trees to be removed of varying sizes. Um, we've used the opportunity to do this as a demonstration to various members of the industry and explain what can be done and how mechanisation can help remove ash trees in a safe manner throughout the UK. In this instance uh, we are using uh, West Tech equipment to dismantle ash trees. It was decided at the start of ash dieback in the UK that uh, ash couldn't be failed safely by chainsaw operators um, due to the, the fragile uh, makeup of the wood as it dies and also the tree climbers could not climb trees and dismantle them in a normal manner because the trees uh, were very fragile. Tree climbers very quickly said it was dangerous to climb the trees and that uh, they refused to do it. Latest industry guidance is that you know mechanisation of felling ash trees is the safe way to go forward. Hi, I'm Rob Easton from Forest Machine Magazine. We've come down today to have a look at the range of West Tech machinery working and some of the ash dieback down in the south coast of England and a demonstration being held by Alan Marshall. <laughs> 